hello friends today we will install cpanel in google cloud server first of all you have to open a google cloud control panel using your gmail account and if you created a compute engine then click on comp compute engine and click on ssh link to open a web terminal now google provides a 200 dollar free of cost for a start the google cloud server and after open a terminal you have to write some command i will mention in description what command you have to type yeah we open a terminal and we will log in via a root login this is a command sudo su root and we have to run a command for install a cpanel First of all, we have to install a Perl in your Google Cloud Server. Actually, cPanel require a Perl. This is your command for install the Perl in your Google Cloud. Yum minus y install Perl. And we have to set a host name. This is an example host name space vps dot your website name. dot com or dot in and after that go to the home directory this is a command cd slash home and run a cpanel url for download the data and this is the url and click the enter and type sh space latest yeah now your cpanel is installing on your google cloud server please wait up to 15 to 20 minutes and it will be take 15 to 20 minutes to install cpanel in your server very easy to set up a google cloud and install the cpanel please wait a while of 15 minutes and after 15 minutes you will come back then you will find a cpanel login credential or cpanel the url All SQL, PHP, Apache, all is installing step by step. Now you will see the URL and click on the link. Port is 2087, and this is not working because port is not open. Then we will open a Google Cloud and we will add the port. I will show how to add. Go to the go to your Google Cloud and click on the networks and click on firewall rules
and click on firewall rule okay now you can add a basic thing like some IP address and some port please note down and go through the step by step to install the cPanel now it's working and click on advance and proceed and there will be username and password username is root and password we have to change from terminal go to your terminal and type p a double s w d root and type your new password and password now your password is reset you can put any password in the root for the root type the password and click on sign in yeah now WHMC panel is working and click on the next button and you can read the agreement type the your type your email ID type your IP address or server hostname please fill the required data and click on the next button now please wait for a minute please keep this step and go through the by default setting and type your basic name server just ns1.yourdomain.com and ns2.yourdomain.com click on the save and next now I skip and keep the default setting and click on finish go to the WHM and save the setting enter your public URL and company name click on save setting and please wait a while a second yeah now now whm is open click on restart after com after complete the setup you have to reboot the, your server click on reboot and please wait a while a second after reboot you have to make an account for a website we will see we will show you how to create a account in whm panel Click on the account function 
and enter the website name and username and password Yeah, if you have a single IP, then you can leave the blank. Do not check the dedicated IP. Now enter the username. password Just click on create now your account is created and your cPanel account is ready you can upload your file and host your website thank you thank you very much